Okay, I'm back guys. Welcome back to a brand new day. Road to TC Rolls 2018. Um, thank you so much for being here. This is Zorark Rotom. The card that you guys can see is Triple Fill Blower. And how long did it take you to become this good Peak Electric? Um, I've been playing for 15 years and ever since I started playing I started winning tournaments here in Mexico. And then my second year of uh, playing I got third place at world so I've definitely had better years than others um, but um, but yeah um, I don't know how long it took me to be good uh, but I've been playing for over 15 years so that definitely helps uh, because experience is a big deal right um, so we have Zorak GX once again, 210 HP ability trade, you discard a card and draw two, and then Righteous Beating deals um, deals 20 per Pokemon you have in play, so 120 and then 150 with a choice band. We have three of the Rotom, the Psychic Rotom, in order to try and counter Buzzwell. Uh, with the ability Rotom Launcher, when you have nine or more Pokemon tool cards in your discard pile, in your discard pile you ignore all energy costs for Rotom, so you deal 120 damage for free. We also have the Shaman with Rallyback and Flippity Flap, and also Sudowoodo with Watch and Learn, and some counter energy for good message. Uh, for good measure, I mean. Double Cup Faded, um, they do not auto drop people at day one when they're eliminated. They drop them when they've made it through to day two. And you're welcome, Pig Electric. Um, Riley Hulbert is a pretty cool guy, and he's pretty good. Yes. Um, how do you deal with early boss pressure? Um, I mean, you can have Rotom active, it has resistance, so maybe it can tank a hit or two. Um, but yeah, it, it will definitely take some time um, to, to pull that off. Um, you can also promote Lele. Uh, it's gonna be rough. Um, it's just uh, an idea I was trying out. I was, I was just thinking, maybe this needs Mew too, maybe this needs Mew. Um, to just actually be able to keep up, but we're gonna try it. Um, so yeah, we have those Pokemon, Triple Double Lele for support, then we have our Draw Engine, Triple Bridget, Triple Kuzma, Triple N, Double Cynthia, and the Mallow. We have four Ultra Ball and four Puzzle of Time, Triple Field Blower, Double Evo Soda for consistency purposes, and then we have four Weakness Policy, which I'm hoping will be good enough um, to allow us to live for a little bit longer, since uh, Puzzle decks do not play Field Blower. We're gonna play for choice bands as well to maximize our damage output. We're gonna play three bursting balloons and three float stones for versatility purposes and to punish um, attackers. And then finally, we have the one counter energy and the four DC to attack with. So let's jump into the ladder and see if we can do something with the Zorg Rotom deck. Um, you know they auto dropped in San Fran. Um, I, I mean, I don't think you should be thinking about or you're saying you're not gonna do well at Worlds. I mean, if you've made it, then there's a reason for that. Um, and no, as far as I, as far as I know, in San Fran, well, I generally don't remember. I generally don't remember. Um, Cause I was playing day two directly. Yeah, I generally don't remember. Okay, so we're gonna, um, we are going to be uh, playing against, are we playing against Greninja or against Lapras? Um, this is different, yeah, this is different. This is definitely different. Um, and yeah, you can get the counter energy activated quickly, definitely. This is a pretty decent hand, honestly. This is a pretty decent hand. Wait, what? We <laughs> we mulliganed four times against Greninja. What? Um, yeah, we can't beat Greninja with this deck. We cannot beat Greninja with this deck. Zorak Rotom versus Greninja. I mean, you could easily fit one. You could easily fit one. Um. Jeez, you could easily fit one Giratina here. This is pretty crazy though. <laughs> I 
This is pretty crazy. Um, I'll get the Rotom. No, Shadow Stitching. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna concede here, guys. I think I'm just gonna concede. Well, yeah. Okay, I won't concede. Do I even get a fourth Pokemon? I mean, I'll get the Rotom, sure. I'll get the Rotom. Um, I'll definitely feel Blora with that. And I'll just pass. <laughs> Let's roll the intro screen again. <laughs> yep, <laughs> pretty much. I was about to concede. I was actually about to concede. Like, there's no way you beat a Greninja when you give them four Mulligans. And you're a Zorak deck. Like, if you're Buzzle, then you're like, okay, it's no big deal. But, not right now. Not right now. Okay, so he does have a Frogadier prized, um, <laughs> but my son, I mean, I think that's, yeah, that's bias. I think it, it, it depends a lot more on the meta trends than anything else. Um, okay, so we'll discard the weakness policy. Do I even end here, or do I just Cynthia? My opponent has discarded two supporters so I think I'm gonna end to mess up whatever he he's planning um, I do have two ends prized <laughs> I do have two ends prized and it's not looking it's not looking like I'm gonna be able to get my DTE here uh, I do have one DCE prize as well. Like if you whiff this KO against Greninja, there's just never going to be a chance for you to catch up. Um, okay, I hit it. Awesome. So, do I play this? I think I do. Because that way I can get back-to-back -back KOs. And if he chooses not to attack, then that's good. Because then I can ride just beating again. So that was pretty lucky. And yeah. <laughs> if one player has a bad matchup, then the other has a good matchup indeed. Um, that was a pretty good trade. No, immediate, immediate removal of the DTE. That's only going to be our second tool card. Uh, yeah, I would have full troubled for another Zorg for sure. But with the DTE, I would have gone out of my way to hit the DTE. Definitely would have gone out of my way to hit that DC. One card in hand, and okay. I mean, that refreshes our hand, which gives us a chance to either get double puzzle or get um, another DC. There's one puzzle. You see a Nevo Soda. Did my opponent immediately. Re oh no, he had the Frogger in his hand. No, stop. He gets the field lore as well um hello manchas hello robin <laughs> okay um right now i'm playing um zorg with rotoms but i am playing against greninja so this is a pretty difficult match um but okay pretty pretty good top deck right there pretty good top deck right there so the question is do i i think i take down the froget here I think I definitely take down the Frogadier here because that only leaves him with two Greninjas. Mancha, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you so so much for the bits. Very kind of you. And then, yeah, the the balloons are actually gonna put in a lot of work here. I did top deck puzzle. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty lucky. Pretty darn lucky. Okay, so we need my opponent to attack into this so that we can get the return KO. Which is good. Um, no matter which Pokemon he attacks with. Um, if he does it with the 
with a splash. Ooh. He lost two more splash energy there. That's good. If he does it with a splash, then he gets a Greninja pieces back, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, he's playing the counter catcher. Just like I was. He's playing the counter catcher. Both turns he's gotten what he needed. The DCE. I mean the the hammer and fill lore and then the counter catcher. But I mean we did top deck double puzzle, so there's nothing for me to complain about. And it's a bad matchup no matter how you view it. Is he thinking who to jant water shuriken? Or is he thinking about which attack does he use? Those are interesting questions for sure. Oops. Okay. Takes out my Zerua, which is not very nice. Um, how excited am I for rotation? I generally haven't even had time to think about rotation because there's still so many tournaments I have to go to. Um, but I mean, I, I guess it should be. It should be a nice change of pace. I'm gonna bench the Shaman to threaten, to like divert attention from my Zorks. And I need a DC here. Okay, cool. I got the DC. And I don't think I play the weakness policy ever, anywhere. Um, I mean, rotation is gonna be cool. Every new format, um, that, it, like, it, it's gonna be fresh, so which is so that's pretty good. Um, I think it's gonna take a while to get used to like the new the new cards and whatnot. Um, well, not the new cards, the the new set and the new draw engines. Am I happy Green is rotating? Not not precisely, not precisely. Um, okay, my opponent already recovering from the KO that we dealt earlier. Yeah, I don't think we win this game. I don't think we win this game. Okay, but it, it did divert attention, which is good. Right, it did divert attention, which is good. Um, <laughs> you're gonna miss Pidget Carp, Bird Boy. Yeah, we might just be dragging out the inevitable here. Three cards. He hasn't dead drawn at any point. Um. <laughs> Not even worth attaching the TC. Eh, hola, Bu. Muchas gracias por estar por aquí. The All the useless tool cards. I might lose if it's work. I'm not gonna play this one, I guess. And Riot is beating for some damage. I can't believe he had Counter Catcher too. I was like, okay, he's already played one Field Lore, we should be good. And then he goes and plays the Counter Catcher. <laughs> Buzzle GX is pretty good, yeah. My button hasn't missed a beat. Every turn he has played a supporter. Every single turn he has played a supporter. I think I'm just gonna go see here, guys. There's no point in dragging this. Es Rotom Zork y Counter Energy con Shaimin y Sudobudo. Yeah, Rotom never got to attack, so let's just move on to another game. I hope your Celestila Spice idea can handle the post rotation meta. Celestila seems okay. Just nothing like out of the norm, but it seems okay ish. Okay, we seem to be up against a pure psychic deck, so Rotom could actually shine here. Rotom could actually shine. And we get the turn one bridging, which is nice. What are we hoping to hit with this deck? Uh, Buzzle, because we have four weakness policy. And 
Pseudo Wudo can deal with puzzles. Um, the Rotoms can deal with puzzles. Malamar should also be a pretty good matchup. Um, the combination of Shaman plus Pseudo Wudo plus a counter probably gives you a chance against the mirror matches. I wish there was a fighting type Rotom. That would be pretty good. That would definitely be pretty good. <laughs> porque, porque no quiero ser eh, supersticioso. <laughs> Sorry, Gert GX is really fun too, but it's definitely not tier one. Yeah, it's just okay. Yeah, I'm hoping to take down a, a Necrozma with a Rotom for sure. Second attack would really help Celestia. Yeah, that's true. Eh, no, Bubu, no, no, no lo tomo como crítica. Eh, simplemente no soy supersticioso como para pensar que caen más cruces que caras. Okay, and then we just pass. All the Malamars are using Mars Shadow on ladder. Yeah, I don't think it makes anything better. Like, sure, it lets you KO a Zoark, but you still need three energy. And then Zoark KOs you back. So you're trading two for two. You're not being cost effective. You're definitely not being cost effective. Uh, Malamars. Choice ban on the active. That's fine. Instruct. But it's gonna hypnosis me or not. Okay, interesting decision. Um, is there a non GX basic fighting one that could work with Malmar? Um, yeah, they all need fighting energy. Unfortunately, they all need fighting energy. Okay. I definitely don't need weakness policy on my Zoark in this match. And then. What if you play bench reduction pseudo wudo? I mean Malamar's bench is already so so tight that I think you lose more of having that useless Pokemon than Zorak does. Um, because they also have Mewtwo and Mew to take down the Marshadow. Like they always have a psychic type attacker. Um, so what do I do here? Do I just hit into the Lele? I think so. And I'll do this for Cynthia. Not N, no. N is pretty good against Malmar. Like, if you want to have a bench sitter, you'd rather have a Guru because it can draw you extra cards than, than Pseudo Wudo. Uh, will I need Shaman? Probably not. I also probably won't need Choice Fans. Yeah, it can't take, def it can't take effectively. Type specific Skyfield. I can't imagine the outcries of people if we got like a dark specific, um, if a, a dark specific Skyfield. Imagine that. What other type could get um, good use out of Skyfield? Not too many, I think. Okay, how many tool cards do we have in the discard pile? Three. So we need six more. Yeah, we probably won't be using Shame in this game. But I assume my opponent is using the pure Psychic version. How would you even make a type-specific Skyfield, though? Like, you can have more than five bench Pokemon. I don't know. Okay, so we lose a Lele, that's fine. Prowl City is not a big deal here. Electric type Skyfield would be kind of fun yeah what about weakness policy in a in a Raichu deck for weakness policy <laughs> nah not really not good enough puzzle is too strong a 
Zork X con su habilidad Bubu te deja robar todo tu deck ¿no? Cada turno estás drenando el deck Drenando, drenando Eso es mágico Ok, so my opponent gonna choose to use Mimikyu We haven't seen the Psychic type Necrozma So we might not even be able to use Rotom here um, He does hit us for a decent amount of damage Which is completely fine um, Uh, uh, um. I definitely want to attack with a different attacker here. Not gonna be using Sudowoodo either. Uh, speaking of, <laughs> I mean, I can't get rid of one field lord, right? I don't need all three, and then I'll trade the weakness policy. And uh, Pick Electric, thanks so much for the bits. Very, very kind of you. Um, I'm surprised we haven't been able to find a floatstone after all this trading. But what are you gonna do, right? Um, I mean, I'll bench the Surauro just to have the extra damage for now. Bursting, I'm not gonna use up the Bursting Balloon for now. Hello, UTF, thanks so much for hanging out. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Yeah, Septel being a stage two is really bad. How many Zoros is correct in Zoro builds? I think it depends on the on which Zoro deck. I think Zorak Elizabeth wants at least two. And any other Zorak deck, uh, you want either one or two. I think. Okay, so he's gonna copy Mimikyu with Marshadow, speaking of. Um, four. Huh. Four tool cards, so we can't use Rotom yet. We can use Zorak, but we can't use Rotom just yet. Double puzzle. Yeah, we haven't been able to attack with Rotom at all. Okay, so what do I do here? Do I just Mallow? I think Mallow is my play. I think for sure Mallow is my play. Uh, probably colorless energy greeny. Where is that rumor at though? I never heard of that. Okay, so I'm gonna mallow for the Rotom and the Choice Band. And then we're gonna trade the N. And we'll bench this. We'll not play that. We'll do that. And then. We shall do this. Grab a Bridget for trading. <laughs> That's very Bomeson. I wish you the best of luck. And we just attack. Right? This is why Marshadow is not great. If Marshadow had 160 HP, it would actually be a pretty decent counter. But because it has 150 HP, it's just not good enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we just, it seems like we won't be able to use Rotom at all. <laughs> um, okay. The stadium is annoying, but we have the immediate field lower, which is fine. We have the immediate field lower. There's the stretcher. Okay, so I think it's Rotom time. I think my goal this turn is gonna be to attack with Rotom. 
and N. Oh, uh, but this Zorak being damaged is so bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I still need two tool cards, and I have no way to guarantee the tool cards. Other than Mallow. I do have access to Mallow. But then my opponent needs Kuzma and then attacks this guy and wins. Escape rope, wow. Um I don't think Dimension Valley was a mistake. It was just made for a different format. Okay. Um how do I go about this? Yeah, I think I should get Mallow here to guarantee. I'll grab this Zorg and we're gonna attack with Rotom. I mean, I still need to find the other tools. Like, I have Ultra Balls to discard them. The issue is not uh, discarding the tools. The issue is finding the other two tools. That's the big issue here. So I think I'm gonna discard these two. Because I have enough, um, I have trades, I have Ultra Ball, so discarding the tools, I mean, finding the tools was the issue, not discarding them. And then I'll trade this, why not? And then I will bench this, and then I will do this, and I'll grab do not have the whole puzzle for the Zorg, but oh well. I'll grab this, and then... Uh, no, I'll just discard it, naturally. I want to use this for these two. Rotom... Hustle Belt? Yeah, Hustle Belt is going to be potentially good. <laughs> Okay, so Rotom can attack now, correct? Yeah, we can Plasma Slice. And we can't use Plasma plasma Slice next turn, but that's okay. That is actually okay. We need my opponent to not have a way to knock out the Zorg on the bench. Which, based on that hasty Ultra Wall and the discard of the energy, I assume he does. He's going to have Necrozma, Triple Psychic Recharge or Attach, and Double Psychic Recharge. Guzma KO on the Zorg. Unfortunately, he has yet to play. He's only played one Guzma. What are my thoughts on Hoopa? Uh, Hoopa is a gimmicky deck. Oh! He goes for the Cynthia, he didn't have the Kuzma, so we actually, I mean, he's gonna GX, he's gonna get one prize card, but we have the Kuzma for the win. So Rotom being a non-GX attacker ends up being pretty decent. <laughs> we win, we do indeed win. There we go. Um, so Peak Electric, thoughts on Hoopa? Hoopa is like a, a good niche deck. In the right meta, it can definitely, um, it can definitely put in work, but um, <laughs> I put as a Q. Um, in the not so wrong meta, in the not so great meta, um, it's just not good enough. And with triple baby puzzle going around, um, I don't think it's good enough. Yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely going after the Lele with plasma slice. There we go. There we go. So Rotom put in work. Eh, sí, usó el GX para Rotom, pero es que si no lo usaba, Zorark mataba al Tonwings. Okay, so. So, 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 so. I think we go with the spread deck. I think we go with the spread deck now. Um, Zorak Rotom It seems v way too gimmicky to work Like those two games definitely <laughs> Easy match Those two games um, Definitely definitely Tell me that it's just a pure gimmick It's not gonna be good enough I would say So 
Um, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And if you're watching on Twitch, don't go anywhere. I will be right back with the spread deck. Yeah? So don't go anywhere, guys. I will be right back.